Hello, hello, and welcome. This is Ascended Stars, Ali Jade here with you today. And I hope you are all hanging in there doing fine. This is your Sagittarius reading and uh, bringing you love and light. Let's see what we have in store for you. I've already pulled your Oracle cards. Um, heads up, I do swear a curse sometimes just because I'm a passionate woman here uh, trying to give you your messages. And what else? Yeah, sorry for the for the tardiness here. It just happened to work out that way. Um, these are very heavy energies. Let's see if I can get you guys to see what's going on with you. I might have to I might have to take this off. Uh, hold on. I want to do the marble, but I can't. Doesn't always work. Okay. Yep. You're probably in, in it for change. You know, you're a mutable sign, Sagittarius. You're probably going to have to change. Uh, Pluto, uh, Pluto's gone retrograde, but now Jupiter's going retrograde prior to doing your reading. So I'm hoping to get those energies to see what's up with you. And also... Um, we just had the full moon in Scorpio. All right, so let's see what we have. Let me take a look. <sighs> yeah, uh, speaking of Jupiter, like money is going to be super important for you and it's going to come to a slowdown, which is your energy doesn't, is not used to slow, having money be slow, coming in slow. Jupiter doesn't retrograde as often as Mercury. So, um, you're going to be, you know, very, I, th I feel like a nervousness because I think you might let the uh, energy from the outside world really get to you. But there's like some really interesting energy here playing out. Um, you know, unfortunately with ret with Jupiter retrograde, it's like the dark side of the moon. <laughs> um, and what I mean by the dark side of the moon is like, when I was driving and I was I would speak to my passengers in the car on their little psychic driver you know they hit the jackpot when they would hit when they would get me if they were open to listening and um I remember one of my passengers said you know as, as I'm telling him the astrology and all these things that are coming down I think this was like in January of 2020 and he's like oh you're the dark side of the moon and you know meaning like you're gonna all the thing all your fears are gonna come up all the things like being like you're gonna be diving in the dark okay that's like deep sea diving because we have pluto retrograde as well so um your optimism okay it's gonna take a lot more for you to get optimistic and be like perky and you know lighthearted. Um, you you might understand what it's like now when you know you have four cups and you think that you have five cups that are gone. You know this is um, this is the energy of Sagittarius. You still have opportunities, um, but interesting in this deck, not even one cup is up. So this is the other side, okay? Like this, the opportunity has gone. Your ship has sailed, okay? You're, it's gone. The ship has, sorry for the glare, but I need to have light on here. Um, the ship has gone, but you have this side, okay? Where it's like, there's still opportunity. You're waiting. It's, it's a lot of waiting, okay? It's a lot of waiting. But, um... You have this really bad energy of the Seven of Swords. Somebody's waiting to do something bad to you. Or um, somebody, somebody around you wants to do something sneaky. Okay. This also tells me 
I'll tell you something else. This these two together also tells me don't don't push your luck and do anything that's illegal, sneaky, underhanded cuz you're going to get caught. Okay? Your 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 luck is not on your side. So if you're taking risky um risky business type of uh chances uh most likely you're it's not going to manifest the wheel of fortune it's it's not going to manifest so this is um stop at go like you know like in monopoly it says stop you know stop at go i think that's what it is it's like uh, everybody else is going and then you have to stop and wait there you have to see everybody else go through that through that okay go through go go past you okay so this is a this is this is your chance right now I know this is the monthly but we're going into four four months of retrograde energy so this is your chance right now where you're gonna have to reflect review um, recalculate reconsider the, your plan or, or how you've been going about things how you've been acting how you have been um, approaching how you have been approaching your life up until now because it ain't working it is it okay this is energy here of man your cup is down like you had one cup and you 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 used that cup man that cup was like you had used up all your cups and you had this one cup like you have three wishes and you had this one wish and the rule was don't make another wish and boom you made that other wish and it, that wish expired that you know it's like it disintegrated in your hands so I don't know, some kind of opportunity, this could be in love, this could be in passion, this could be in work. Something has passed, you feel like it's passed by, okay? Or you feel like it was stolen or taken away from you. And so you can't pass go. You can't ref You can't let go of this. You can, you're, you're, you're in this energy of like, my cup, you know, I really want, you thought you really wanted it, you know? You, sometimes when the universe does this type of thing, it's like the universe is saying, we have something better for you. Um, your, 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 your ambition, um, your target is too low. You're, you're, you're shooting for something too low, okay? And um, you're better than this. You're much better than what you're shooting for. That you're aiming for because look sagittarius is always you know you've always got your target on something you're always aiming so this is saying you have you know like you have to shoot higher this is what the energy i'm getting you have to shoot higher you haven't been shooting higher you've been playing low ball you've been playing you know with the bad boys bad girls um and you're probably king and queen of the block there you probably are the leader of that but you know it's like that's not you're not meant to be the king and queen of of you know whatever that was you you weren't meant to do that you were meant to for higher greater things okay um and so that's why you can't stop you can't go go past go that's why you can't get past right now they're telling it's now you're going to reflect you're going to relook you're going to recalculate replan your ways all right so somebody's um down and out here really really in a lot of pain okay um mentally you're you're anguished uh it finally got to you okay you were holding it up and then boom these retrogrades came and all of a sudden you're feeling the energy heavy heavy and you're hold you're holding it down trying to just maintain and balance yourself at this time okay so we have the knight of wands this could have to do with you not wanting to pursue someone or pursue something the way that you um, always had in the past. This could have to do with, uh, you know, the, the the passion being lost because Knight of Wands is um, a very passionate person and they also come in quickly and leave quickly. So you might have been dealing with somebody in your environment romantically that always came in and left and 
now you're like, no, no, I'm leaving, buddy. I'm leaving. I'm leaving you. I'm not going to put up with this. So this, you know, this is my queen of wands energy in a way where she's just like, I'm too good for this. You know, I am, I am, I know my passions. I need somebody, I need the king who's going to be available and, and be able to help me produce, be able to help me produce. So this this is telling me that you you were in a com connection that wasn't supporting you. It wasn't supporting you. It wasn't supporting you. Okay. It wasn't supporting you. And and um, I think finally you're you're maybe you maybe you gave too much into this. Maybe you lost you lost yourself into this into this connection or whatever your work. Uh, could be family member, you know, they didn't appreciate you. They don't see your value. They don't something painful here happened. Okay. And, and you're going to have to shift your way of thinking your belief system. That's what's going on. We have the king of pentacles reversed. So we're dealing with somebody who is lazy, um, dealing with somebody who, uh, doesn't do things a legal way they rather take the shortcuts and saturn energy does not it does not con condone um doing things without integrity dignity and so this is this is the energy of of somebody um there was some shady energy here okay there was some shady energy going on here which you you were privy to you knew of you you know you condoned um you know i used to listen to dr laura back in the day and dr laura said you know if you witness your best friend cheating on someone you are considered an accomplice because you're very aware of what's happening you're very you're it and here it's like you you chose to um Sagittarius is a pretty moral card, okay? It's about spirituality. When you're when you're in your higher power, the Sagittarius, um, they will call you out. You know, if you know any Sages, I mean, I don't know, I'm talking to you Sages, but any cross watchers, like you know, if you like you say something to a Sag, they will put you in your place. They have no um lack of of telling you what they think. But you weren't living in your full power up until now, Sag, because look, you have the Eight of Swords. And the Eight of Swords is telling me that um, e even though you might have seen some behavior, you acted to your lowest vibration, okay? Maybe because it was the example of what was given to you. Um, I, everybody's coming from di different economic backgrounds and histories and cultures, you know, during this general reading. So take what resonates. But I do feel that in whatever aspect you're in you were living to your lowest vibration of that aspect like you knew your higher self at many times doing things but you uh succumbed to the 3d world of like well i need to have that i need to be this i need to da, 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 da. i need 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 you need you like you wanted these 3d material things that don't serve you in this time and place i don't know what it was <laughs> you know it could be like um I, I don't want to give bad examples. I just don't want to let you, I just don't want you to, um, to live in this lower vibration really, because you're such a beautiful being when you're in your, in your power, my loves, when you're in your power. So this is another major arcana, which is the star. So yeah, this is even more confirmation that you ain't going nowhere soon. And I, and I know you can just click off right now and you hate me for the rest of your life. But, um, you know, I, I just deliver the messages. This is the star card, by the way. This is you getting your dreams. See, when you're, see, you're, you, by this, the transit or hopefully by the end of the month, but what you're, you're supposed to, you're supposed to do is separate your emotions. Okay. Know that you're worthy of whatever you want to have. 
that you are a sovereign divine being that um, lives in their truth and that spirit has you you know spirits guiding you and that no matter how ludicrous it sounds with what spirit wants you to do we need to step in faith and follow through but you're not doing that you see you're not doing that interesting see my finger my shadow sorry my shadows on i i love to see this guy in the in in there in this in this i never really studied this card in the reverse to be honest with you i'd simply get it i think you know now i'll be getting a lot of probably other um but you see okay like your higher self knew what to do the whole time you see that guy is like the higher self and and your higher self knew what to do the whole time but you didn't act from your strength you didn't act from your higher self you came from a place of fear from a place of wanting needing um, these are broken parts of yourself these are broken um, dreams that you from past lives these are things that you are uh, you know this is nasty behavior this is throwing tantrums um, this is complaining and 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 uh, not feeling you're you're in such a low vibrate this is such a low vibration negative thinking that it, it's it's so hard for you to get out of like some of you are really in a in a dark place right now um you don't have the drive to go and do what you want okay and that's because the energy's been gone like the the, the, the okay the air from the bottom of your wings has been sucked away all right and this was reversed you're listening to what other people say. You're being guide. You're not being guided, but you're letting. You're allowing yourself be guided by outside forces. Okay, by outside forces. This is telling me these are outside forces so clearly. This looks like a reptilian to me, like the lizard. Um, okay, so this is telling me that you know you're you're allowing people who are from from your surroundings to have an influence greater than your own internal compass than your own truth than your own better knowing than your own higher higher self okay it's like um it's a combination of keeping up with the joneses what are the joneses gonna think and succumbing to what the Joneses are doing. Can I get this? All right. So I apologize for all this um, moving around of the cards, but I'm trying to let you know what, what I see. And um, so we're going to do the Oracle, and it does look like a really tough month for you, my beautiful Sagittarius. Now I know why. It's weird. Like, my higher self does not want to give these messages, and it holds off on giving these messages. But there's nothing I can do. I, I can't change the messages. I'm going to move the camera. So bear with me. Sorry. I got my new um, setup. I mean, I got my new laptop, so I'll have a new setup pretty soon. I'm going to learn the video. My son's going to give me a tutorial on the videos editing, so we'll see how good I am. <clears throat> All right. Your higher ascended master that's going to be here for you. Dharma unfolding. Now, nobody really talks about Dharma. I wish they would. I wish they would instead of karma so much. But Dharma is the good things coming to you, the good things that you've done in the world. So you're going to survive from your good heart okay so if you are someone who's very loving kind um giving uh not withholding not hoarding then you're going to be fine during this transit oops you're going to be fine during this transit okay but if you are not if you have withheld if you are sneaky underhanded very ego based um you know uh just go along with the flow because Sagittarius doesn't go with the flow like you know if you're like oh yeah I'll be one of your four girlfriends you know that kind of vibe right now the polyamorous thing that was going on um 
you're gonna have a hard time you're gonna have a hard time i'll be honest with you so it says but if, if you haven't been if you've done the work and you've been you know passionate and pulling through like you're gonna have a you're, it's gonna be a hard time for every sagittarius i believe but what's gonna pull you through for those who um are hard workers and not doing shady stuff uh, is that your dharma your the, the thing the good things that you've done in life are coming back to reward you they're going to be your safety net and those who have have, have led more seedy lives or uh, more in in this in the hidden realm secrecy that scorpionic you know don't let the right hand know what the left hand is doing let's hide this from them you know let's go to work and smile in their face and we're having an affair together and nobody knows it that kind of energy man that stuff's gonna be like bam bam pluto because why because pluto is explosive explosive okay it's the atomic bomb and it was discovered it's tiny it's it's small but guess what it packs a punch and so all those secret things will come to light, Sagittarius. All those secret things will come to light. So you better start working on that. But it says, remember that you are on a path. Take one step at a time to happiness. You better like fix those wrongs now. It's like, this is like your chance. Like, okay, the gates are closing and they're closing super slow, you know? And then, and this is like the gates of heaven is what I see. It's crazy. I see the golden gates. Um, they're closing super slow and they're just letting people, yeah, you're here now, come on in. You're here now, come on in. But those who are, you know, and the ones who are going to be coming in are the ones who are going to be backtracking saying, I need to make this right. I need to, I need to show my face. I need to be, you know, you're healing. You need to heal from those things that you were, you were there, that you felt that you need to hide, that, that maybe they were done to you. You know, I don't know, but this is heavy work heavy 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 work okay it's all i gotta tell you it's healing it's cathartic it's past life stuff that you're dealing with because we have the um dual coal which you know represents that eastern uh, mentality represents the past life for me okay let's keep going and um so some of you are dealing with the energy of regret yes that's, that's pretty much what i'm i'm picking up on um i know that i cannot change the past you know you can't change the past but you can atone for the past you can come clean with the past you can say yes i effed up what you know yes i overacted yes i was impulsive but you hiding stuff right now is just gonna make things like that platonic you know atomic energy like it's just heating up heating up and ready like a volcano to come out so I, i'm gonna look at the next card service I feel good when I can help others. This is amazing that you got these two together because they almost clear each other out immediately. So you're at, a, at an opportunity where you're at the beginning of this retrograde and if you can rectify yourself or maybe a, a catalytic event will happen where you must rectify yourself. Um, you know, check yourself check yourself we've got to check ourselves we got to check in with ourselves during this retrograde energy big time so who are you serving are you serving your ego or are you serving human mankind and that's i think that's where you're going to make this switch or you're going to wake up or you're going to see things in a different light or you're going to really start realizing you know i can help myself but who am i going to share me living on the earth with you know i gotta help others so they can we can all be abundant we can all lift each other up so this is um this is you dealing with your own trauma and your own stuff and your own needs your own ego needs yeah your own ego needs in order for you to check you know to, to get straight you, you you gotta do a reflective energy right now retrograde energy okay wow so i'm gonna read um your card you got the oak you got strength okay lovely card you got it's called oak and let's see if we can remove the glare and it's the, it's called strength i'm sorry the um the actual meaning is strength 
So I'm going to read it to you. It's really fascinating to me. Strength. It says, stay committed to your decisions, but stay flexible in your approach. Thank you, Anthony Robbins. Okay. The tree's bark is very astringent and makes a good remedy for a variety of ailments, including bleeding, hemorrhaging, piles, diarrhea, and infections. Oak bark promotes healthy teeth and bones. Oak is the picture of strength and integrity, providing us with a solid structure. Oak represents the masculine qualities of endurance, willpower, and determination in some native traditions. It symbolizes the center of the medicine wheel. So, the flower essence of oak is used for those with a strong personality, hello Sagittarius, who may forget to temper their strength. Oak asks you to accept your own limitations and learn to surrender to life. Let go and let God is a nice phrase to keep in mind. Avoid unnecessary striving and build the foundations of your goals one brick at a time. Capricorn. Capricorn retrograde in um, Saturn retrograde in Capricorn. Excuse me. So rather than trying to lift every brick at once, Balance the goal-oriented and driven masculine side with the feminine, which allows rather than forces things to happen. This balance is not only necessary for the individual, but also for the human race as a whole. Oak asks us to recognize how excessive striving has caused humankind to wreak havoc on the planet, putting ourselves in danger. We need to recognize that there is equal strength in both action and reflection. If we continue to repress the feminine part of our inner nature, we more easily fall prey to darker elements which seek to pull us off the path toward our divine destiny and the last note says here you already have the discipline and integrity necessary to achieve your goals now it's time to temper your strength with ease and your steadfastness with fluidity remember being too rigid can mean becoming brittle even the mighty oak must sway with life's changing winds to avoid falling and the beauty of that is that you are a mutable sign so you're very capable of change you're you know like change is not gonna hey change ain't gonna mess you up change ain't gonna mess you up my dears but um the ego will the ego will stump you so let's see dive into your creativity which you guys are super creative Okay, let's see if I have, do I have one? I have, let's see if I have these. Physical activity, okay, you're gonna be bent up with a lot of energy um, wanting to come out and it might come out in the wrong way, so better just exercise and get your health. You're gonna, it's gonna require a lot of patience this month, okay? A lot of patience from you this month with yourself and with others and you're gonna have to surrender you're gonna have to surrender give your will in to the divine to the higher powers uh, to ask them for their guidance more often tap into that energy tap into that that energy it's better your higher guidance than your own okay so let's move into romance and love and see what we have here okay so finances and career are gonna be taking a little bit of a dip <laughs> i don't know i mean with the with what's going on you know we're getting blasted with the economy on, on trying to stay afloat but you know sagittarius uh you are very good at whatever you put your mind to um yeah so it says financial issues are a focus in you, your love life right now so this could be um in in various ways so but it's, it's affecting your love life, that's what it's saying. But look, express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So you guys are not shy, okay? That's one thing, you're not. Um, so you can go ahead, like if you feel like you need to be with somebody and get their support, go for it, it says here. Yeah, and make the effort, okay? Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So hopefully, um, you know, you can get that reciprocated uh, TLC, tender love and care, right back at you.
very nice energy for you. Okay, so let's not make that fall. Oh, here it is. I knew I put these things here. I thought ahead of time, but now I can't find it when I need it. So this is um, willingness. You are able to compromise if the end result is love. So yeah, so if you see that um, you're going to get your love that you are desiring, it's going to happen. But let's see here. Let's see the... Um, we have two cards, the Dr. Emoto desk deck. And I used to be scared of this card, but this is just thank you and wisdom and compassion. So this is like telling me you have a very karmic relationship. Like you have somebody that you've been going through past lives with. Um, you guys are very passionate sign. It can go up and down. You know, one minute it's cold, one minute it's fiercely hot. And um, I feel like when I see this wisdom, I feel like right now during the retrograde, it's time for you to kind of um, connect to this person and do some healing and either have more compassion for yourself or this person um, is bringing a huge lesson to you of wisdom and compassion. This is a very hard time though. I I'll be honest with you because uh, you have to be really raw, true with what you see inside your soul and inside yourself. And this might um, trigger childhood wounds as to why you went for the type of relationship you went for. And by the end of this transit, you'll probably be, you know, in a much better place but during this transit you might be a mess you might fall apart many 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 times you might want to blame you might want to um just put yourself in a cave because there is no one to blame it's just about healing so it's it's, it's a really uncomfortable energy you're you're shedding a skin that doesn't suit you anymore basically All right, so the issue is angel of strength. This is going to require um, a lot of strength from you, Sagittarius, a lot of inner strength. You could be dealing um, with lack of courage to face your truths or to face the truth. But we have an angel here. We have support. We have, um, you have the, 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 this is the place you have to change it's a five okay you've come to the place of change you might be a mutable sign but it doesn't mean you like change it doesn't mean you're into change it doesn't mean that you're ready for change but ready or not here it comes ready or not here i come so yeah it's really intense for you guys this time but you know you're gonna be if you could just go within and connect to your emotions and then be able to generate the way that these emotions are, are coming up like you know do some writing do some uh journaling do some singing you know of sad songs in your car where no one can hear you or in the shower you know you need to do some purging is what i'm saying but you need to go in you stop pretending that there's not a problem okay like you can't be like oh yeah everything's fine everything's great oh i'm just fine oh you know with jolly you know like i call you guys a set the sagittarius santa claus energy to me it's like oh you know santa's in the house let's pate that's a completely different vibe so you're going now reflective with Scorpio full moon, you got to look at this stuff, man. You got to put a microscope on it and you got to sit with it, okay? You got to sit with the choices that you've been put upon, that you've made, and the ones you got to make. So this is like very reflective and you got to, you know, harness the courage, which is here, okay? You haven't been wanting to look at the truth. You haven't been wanting to see things in in the light of the day you rather have things on the peripheral and now they're just bam right in front of you you know just like the king and queen has people present things in front of them and 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 everybody around them the court is looking and seeing what is are they going to do how are they going to react it's like that kind of energy i pick up like you cannot get away from this you need to deal with it you need to face it okay and that's a big 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 energy i pick up why are you going to have to face it because there's things that you have in your heart 
the third chakra that you need to release. You you guys are great at um, defending people, def speaking up for others who can't speak up for themselves. Okay, it's either your stuff that you're dealing with or things that you've seen and heard from others that you just can't repress anymore. You just have to vocalize them. You just have to communicate. You have to. So you, but in order to do that, you have to get straight with yourself, and you have to gather and harness the courage to do it in a place of that comes from love that comes from um not anger okay not not a place of anger so this is uh your challenge this is this is a challenge but it's also going to help you once you start communicating once you start expressing stop hiding stop pushing down the feelings then you can um do a lot of lot of breakthrough work and the reason that you're not being able to do that is because you have an attachment. This is this is the problem. You are, you are too attached to something, okay? And attachment brings misery, all right? We're going to have to leave our body suits. We're going to have to leave our children behind if if that's something important to you, you know, if you're a mother and father, but not not every mother and father their child is important. Um their house is more important, you know, their car is more important. Um the, the amount of dollars that they have in the bank is more important so um their their ability to be able to pay for you know to look good all the time is more important so your attachment to okay because you this is you're gonna your mask is gonna come off this month okay if you've been wearing any mask to hold on to anything that you really wanted or or to hold on to the lifestyle that you've had in the past, that mask going to be removed this month. I don't know how, but Pluto's going to remove it, okay? So you got to understand that if you don't remove that mask, the universe is going to come remove it for you because we got this card, right? Disruption. And it does represent to me that anything that you've kept hidden, anything that you've repressed, anything that you didn't want others to know to be judged on or to be put on what does it say put on the radio or put you know put on blast if you haven't dealt with that and this is a five this is a five man this is gonna get you unexpectedly like you ain't gonna see this shit coming it's gonna fucking hit you bam like you ain't gonna see it It's because you need to create healthy boundaries. Some of my Sages have not learned the lesson of creating healthy boundaries between themselves and others. Okay? Uh, you need to learn that you can go up to people. You said, you need to, you, okay. This is the most important thing I, I'm going to leave you with. We train others on how to treat us. Okay, people who have self-value, people who have um, healthy boundaries, when their boundaries have been crossed, they set a limit or they set a standard. This is the way we're going to do it. You have the power to do the Sagittarius because this is, you're very outspoken. This is how we're going to do this. This is how we're going to communicate. I'm going to see you at five o'clock. Nothing sooner. I can't be there sooner. And I can only give you an hour of my time. So you better make it worth it. You know what I mean? It's like people are just uh, putting upon you. That's what it is. I think they're put upon, put upon. I feel like a lot of the time my sadness feel put upon because you feel like you can. It's good to have that acknowledgement that you can fix things and help and be the hero of the day. But you ain't going to fix COVID-19. You ain't going to fix people not being able to open up their hearts and minds. Um, you ain't going to fix fear. People are running rapid and reactive with fear. You ain't going to fix any of that. And then if you have, if, the, if they've already been trained to come to you on a default when they're in a bad place and you're trying to deal with your own stuff, you're going to have a nervous breakdown, my loves. You're going to have a nervous freaking breakdown. So you got to build those boundaries, okay? Um, teach your children. Teach your children about the boundaries. I taught my son that no is a great word. And and then he tells me, I said, it's a great word until you tell your mom no. But, you know, I'm, I'll leave it at that. So I love you guys, and I hope and wish you the best, my Sagittarius friends. 
take care and uh, much love and light and I, I, you know what I want to I want to leave with one more card which is going to be the Oracle the uh, crystal Oracle the little crystal cards let's give you one of these okay my loves let's give you one of these because I have a 40 minute video but I am going to be doing um, your love reading right after this because of the the long wait the ones that have waited the last four ones I'm putting love the love videos out for you too so oh that one wanted to come out hold on one second <laughs> maybe it wasn't that one let's see oh la la okay ruby i think this is oh no yeah oh sunstone so this journey is about your empowerment honey bunnies this journey is about your empowerment okay and it says i am empowered in all areas of my life so this is this is definitely um putting in the, the sun you know uh the light there are no lies under the sun in the light there are no lies only shadows and whatever you have in the shadow is coming to the light be forewarned that's another confirmation take care bye bye please just don't forget to subscribe and like thank you